El Toro. Kit Carson. Do I know you? How could I possibly forget such a beautiful senorita? Are you El Toro? Si, Angel mio. I'm Estelita Gomez. I come from San Limas. My people have asked me to come to you and Kit Carson for help. Then I give it con todo el corazón. You're very kind, senor. Now will you call Kit Carson? Oh, senor Carson is not here at present, but a uh, favor de sentarse. Sit down. No, 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 there's no time to sit down. Now, tell me all about this trouble. There's no time to tell my story twice, senor. I must find senor Carson and beg him to help us. Well, Kit is at Pandora camp visiting an old friend. Go to him at once. It is a matter of life and death for 80 people. Then we both go. I personally will take you to Kit Carson and present you as the most beautiful senorita in all California. Please, there is no time for romance. Go bring Kit Carson here. My horse is tired. It will save much time if you go alone. Then I will ride like the wind. Uh, before I go, tell me something of this trouble at San Limas. Kit Carson is not the blood of a Latin. He's not as quick as I to come to the aid of a beautiful senorita. No, no, I'll tell you both when you come back with him. Of what are these 80 people in danger? Of cholera. On your horse. We're taking you back to San Limas. What for? You know what for. You broke out of quarantine. What are you trying to do? Make the epidemic worse by spreading it all over the country? It is you that makes the epidemic worse. is gone. Were you asleep in the sun before you saw this beautiful senorita? No, in the cabin. Do you suppose someone came and took her back to San Limas? I don't know. But let's get back there and find out. San Limas. Shall we pick them off now, Kit? No. There's only a signal for us to stop. Well, why should we stop? People all over the country are scared of cholera. Most communities are posting guards on the road to keep the people from entering their towns. Wait here a minute. Don't make another step. Nobody comes in or goes out. That's the boss's orders. And we ain't taking no chances. Who gave orders to shoot anyone trying to enter San Limas? Bill Drayson. Is he the mayor? No, but somebody had to take over to keep us all from dying. So we elected Drayson. Who's the we? Well, Limit wasn't sick. I suppose I'll find Drayson in town. I'm telling you for your own good. You better not go in there because there's only a few of us that ain't sick. Thanks for the warning. 
Now, where does Drayson live? In the biggest house in town, right off the main street. this place. Everything looks dead. I don't feel so good myself. This is one of the few places where your people got in on the gold. There's a gully nearby where the nuggets are just waiting to be picked up. Why didn't we come here before? I guess they couldn't keep it a secret, so everybody moved in on them. And somebody brought cholera. Maybe they were better off before the gold. Let's look around before we call on Drayson. Proprietor. Maybe that's Estilita's papa. Let's see what the card says. Kid, this place isn't healthy. Looks to me like the whole town's in quarantine. Now, well, let's get over to Drayson's place. Inside, you stand near the door and keep me covered. You know this Drayson? No. But he's either very smart or very dumb. How is he dumb? You don't need to quarantine people with a sickness like this. Not in a town this size. How'd you strangers get in town? We'd like to see Estelita Gomez. Maybe you better talk to Captain Drayson. Is Captain Drayson an army man? No, he's an old sea captain. Wait here a minute. I'll see if he'll talk to you. What's your name? Kit Carson, and this is El Toro. Bill! Oh, Bill! Well, what's the matter with you? There's a couple of fellows out at the door. They want to see Estelita Gomez. One of them said he's Kit Carson. Kit Carson? How'd he get by the sentry? Well, I didn't stop to ask him. Ah, I wonder how much he knows. Well, bring him in, then round up some of the boys. Put a couple of them at the front and the back. We've gone too far to let Carson spoil this deal. Right. Caramba, I like this place less every minute. I think we walk into the house of a hornet. You mean a hornet's nest? Nest or house? Is this thing any different? All right, Mr. Carson. The captain will see you now. How are you, Carson? Glad to meet you. Have a chair. We, uh, we've got a bad epidemic here. Yes, every place in California has it this year. I hear half the population of Sacramento has died. Not to my knowledge. Well, San Lemus is doing everything it can to keep the epidemic from spreading. We're allowing no one to leave town. So places that don't have it can't catch it from us. That's public spirited. And we're allowing no strangers to enter our town. So your sentry told me. Then how'd you get by him? Oh, he tried to stop us all right, but I had to see Estelita Gomez. Okay. Here's a picture of Estelita. Then this must be where she lives. Is Miss Estelita in? Uh, this is her father's place all right, but... When the citizens elected me to run the town, I, uh, well, I needed larger quarters. Where's Senor Gomez now? In quarantine, both he and his daughter. Oh, I want to see Estelita. You can't. In defiance of our laws for the general welfare, she broke out of quarantine. We're going to have to make an example of her tonight, in front of the rest of the cholera cases. What sort of an example? The laws are posted all over town. Anyone that tries to escape will be hanged. You mean you'd hang a girl for something like that? Well, I don't like to hang anyone. But the cholera cases have got to understand that they can't run around spreading this disease. Does Estelita have the cholera? Miracle if she doesn't. She's been exposed to it. Where's your quarantine station? In the church. They're being well treated. How many of them are there? Oh, about 80. Some Americans, but mostly Mexicans. They seem to take it first. I think you're wrong about that. There wasn't any cholera around here until the sailors brought it in on ships from China. Carson. What do you really want here? I want you to open that church and let everyone go home. 
So the rest of us can catch it? Cholera doesn't spread in the air. You can live in the same room with us so long as you don't eat or drink from the dishes of a sick person. You really do want me to turn those people loose, don't you? What are you driving at? Well, I thought maybe you wanted a good claim. I can show you one that'll make a fortune in one year. You're really in this for big stakes, aren't you? You know that an unworked claim is anybody's claim. There might have been a few cases of cholera around here, so you routed them into a church. Then you rounded up all the Mexicans with good claims and the Americans who wouldn't string along with you. Heard of them in a small room with poor sanitary conditions. No one had eventually at all contacted. Take Tom and cover the back. And drop him on sight. That'll be a pleasure. Now, we'll go to the church and release those people. I'll have my gun on you every minute. We meet any of your friends, you'll tell them to drop their guns. Supposing they don't. That's your hard luck. You'll get the first bullet. Look out, kid! Are you hurt, boss? No, get me a gun. We're going after them. Lost them, amigo. Not for long. There's some wood in back, boss. Wouldn't that be a better place to reload our guns? No, I want them to see where I'm going. First we come in so they don't see us. Then we stay here till they do. I want you to go back to town, El Toro. Veer to the north and double back. I'll keep them busy so they won't see you going. That's very nice, kid, but what do I do when I get there? Stay undercover until after dark. Then make contact with Estelita. She got out once, maybe she can get out again. Stay in some empty house near the church, but leave a sign for me. And when are you going to meet me there? I'll keep Grace and his gang busy as long as I can. Then I'll cut back through them, meet you in town. Oh, and they'll stay out here all night looking for us. Perhaps. Perhaps. And we can rescue Estelita Gomez and her friends. Yes, but I don't want you to do any shooting unless you have to. All right, you ready? Estoy listo.
tanto gusto en verle. You're so beautiful and so brave. We will both be so dead if we don't get out of here quickly. Is there an empty house near here where we can go and talk? Quickly, how many men you brought with you? I'm all alone. At the church, we heard shooting in the distance. We thought it was you and Senor Carson and a lot of men. I have no fear. Kit and I will free all the citizens. We have a plan. He's going to meet me here after dark. Now, while Kit keeps dressing on his men, busy in the woods, why, I could free your people myself. Those two guards mean nothing to me. Oh, but there are two more guards inside. Then how did you get out? Oh, a lot of people came between me and the guards, and they couldn't see me. Well, cannot more get out the same way? Some of the men dug holes with their knives, but before it was large enough for a man to get through, they struck a big timber. Well, how do you feel now? Oh, I feel big and strong as a man. You see, there are more of Drayson's men in town than you think. Well, there's nothing to do but wait for Kit. Perhaps he cannot find the place. I left a sign that he cannot miss. I do not think we should wait until after dark. We must do what we can ourselves. I fight for you to the bitter end. Good. I have a plan. I will return to the church and give these two guns to the best men there. They will take care of the guards inside. But the shots will bring all Drayson's men. They will not shoot until you have disposed of the guards outside, if possible without a sound. Then I will signal you. Ah, see, like this. <laughs> Quiet or you have the whole town here. Excuse me, Senorita Estelita Gomez, may I have the honor to present Kit Carson? Senorita? Senor Carson. I think Drayson caught wise. He suddenly stopped shooting and uh, came back to town. Now, what are we up against? We found their horses. Now, left Dave and Red to cover them. Well, I guess we beat them back into town, all right. Now, keep your eye on Dave and Red. Make sure they stay on the job. If Carson gets away from here now, he'll come back with a troop of cavalry. I sent the rest of the boys over to the church. If we don't get our hands on Carson and El Toro by this evening, put everybody to searching the town. Every house, every room, every cellar. How many of them are sick? Only nine. Four of them died. But they're trying to make all of us catch it. Why aren't you infected by now? Well, I would be, but the constable and Padre took charge, and they're doing everything they can. I can't understand how Drayson and 15 men can capture a whole town. They took us two and three at a time. Everyone was taken by surprise in the middle of the night. Shall we go to the church now? No, they'll be expecting us. We'll sit tight. Did you get her inside the church? It wasn't easy. dresson has got his men all over town. How many guards outside? Only two. The rest are searching the stores and houses. They must be looking for us. Let's go out the back. Maybe they'll busy themselves outside while we let the people out of the church.
on your horse. Come on. Come on. All right, mud up. Don't take me back to San Lemus. They'll lynch me. What difference does it make? The sheriff's waiting for you back there. He'll hang anyway, and it'll all be legal. Kid, you wouldn't recognize San Lemus already. What a change since the people are free and the doctor can take care of the few who actually are sick. What a happy change. They're planning a big celebration for you, Keith Carson. And a special welcome for you, Senor Drayson. Let's get going. 